Hello and welcome to the channel. Third quarter earning report from General Motors slide deck. Slide number 11 indicated that there's going to be 25 charging sites completed by December 31st. They seem to be on track, but they were falling a little bit behind. Uh, there is an additional site that opened uh, this past week, leaving six left to complete in the next week. And I think they're going to make it. Let me explain why. Here's the map. Let me just get to the update. I'll go over these other pieces at the tail end um, for uh, brevity here. We're now up to 3.8% uh, of the 500 locations. And just a note that these maps do not encompass 500 locations. These maps are just what are going to be completed by 2024. Um, the 500 locations will be more pin drops, basically double this amount. Okay, so the location that opened is Pittston, Pennsylvania. Today is Friday, December 22nd. It opened up this afternoon. I'm gonna pause here in order to show the Eastern time zone sorted north to south for anyone who wants to see. And here's the Central, Mountain, and Pacific time zones. Let me go up to the map that shows all the locations that are open. And the location that just opened today is right here, kind of close to the New York border. It's the first NEVI funded site in the state of Pennsylvania. Okay, the big news is why I think they're gonna finish. The number of sites that have been spotted under construction has increased significantly. One site moved, out of this location and we still have 23 sites spotted under construction in varying levels of completion. Pembroke, New York is confirmed by YouTuber Plug and Play EV Steve it is still needing a transformer. However, it does have a canopy in place and I'll show a picture here in a second. Castleton on the Hudson as expected, the canopy is now completed. Hubbard, Ohio, a sleeper site has now been uh, confirmed installed also has a canopy look at these canopies canopies are just freaking popping up anywhere this one really was a sucker punch for me because it's in my home state of north carolina and i was just reviewing the nevi uh, program guidance uh, north carolina has not released any nevi funds so although uh, the site in london ohio near columbus and piston pennsylvania received nevi funds for that build apparently pilots not waiting for NEVI funds in order to complete these sites because North Carolina has released no NEVI funds and this site is almost completed from what I understand. No pictures yet, but um, the person who is a co-owner of the company that did the construction confirmed that that site is um, complete as far as the canopy goes. Jackson, Tennessee canopy site. I have a new picture of that. Uh, Temple, Georgia confirmed under construction. Uh, that's the site I visited that I mentioned last time that I didn't, didn't put in, but uh, is in now. Uh, Jackson, Georgia, confirmed by the same person, Dale King, the co-owner of King Brothers Construction, is uh, completed. Peculiar, Missouri is still waiting on a transformer. Uh, Cato Mills, Texas, is uh, under construction now. And Anthony, Texas, is still waiting for a uh, transformer. Um, and if we look at this Houston site right here, I neglected to mention next, uh, last time, Eric from news, the uh, YouTube channel uh, News Coulomb uh, provided me a Houston Chronicle uh, news article where they spoke to the manager and it was uh, reported to them that the site is going to open on December 29th, which is a week from today. So what it looks like is going on is they're lining up a whole bunch of sites to open up on the 29th. Um, the site in Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas, this one right here, is um, being reported as the screen's working 
And people have been able to like either initiate a charge one time, but another time it wasn't working. Very similar to the London, Ohio. So I think this Amarillo, Texas is basically baked and ready to go and just waiting for someone to give the final go ahead. And likely what we're looking for at is a final push to the finish line of 25 right on the 29th of December, which is a week from today. The um, fate, uh, state funding report list has been ad adjusted. This site right here is now coming off. It's been spotted under construction. All right, let's go over the pictures because there's quite a few new pictures. Here's the governor of the state of Ohio doing a ribbon cutting in London, Ohio for the first Nevi site opening in the country uh, in his home state, of which he's very proud. In order to get Nevi funds allocated, there's a lot of red tape you got to go through and coordination with multiple state departments, federal departments, and utilities. Not only the, that, you have to coordinate with the site host in order to actually have the construction completed. So the fact that this got completed is really uh, kudos to the governor of um, the state of Ohio. Uh, so first in the nation. Winslow, Arizona, open, able to service electric vehicles. Perrysburg, Ohio, Williamsburg, Kentucky. Ardmore, Oklahoma, Knoxville, Tennessee, very close to the headquarters of Pilot Flying J. Georgetown, Kentucky, someone is charging a Tesla with an adapter. No problem whatsoever. The converse is going to happen uh, basically starting in February of 2024, where we're going to be able to charge our CCS cars on Tesla superchargers. So many good days ahead of us. This is a new photo just passed to me by Steve at Plug and Play EV, um, Pembroke, New York. Uh, he happens to be um, out on the road and was able to take this picture. You can see a brand new canopy is in place. No transformer, so this is not going to be completed by the 31st of December. It'll be probably January, February before it's done. Warrington, Missouri. Uh, this site is very close to completion. Peculiar, Missouri. We're getting reports is pretty close to being done. Anthony, Texas is waiting on the transformer. Castleton on Hudson. Also a picture from Steve at Plug and Play EV indicating the canopy is complete. We're waiting on wrapping on the dispensers, but that canopy looks beautiful. Actually, a little bit ahead of when I was expecting it to be done. Amarillo, Texas, from what we understand, as I mentioned, these uh, chargers are now lit and um, just waiting for uh, final um, site host approval in order for it to begin. It looks like all the permitting has been done and everything, and it's just ready to go. New Candy, Texas, I also believe this is going to be one of the ones that is in the final push to 25 before the 31st. Stayer, Oklahoma. I'm not quite sure about this. This one might be a little bit further behind. I don't, I don't think it will be complete by the 31st. Jackson, Tennessee on Interstate 40. Uh, this one was just spotted recently. And if I had to guess, this very well may be done by the 31st. Um, as you see, the lighting on the canopy is completed. And uh, the fact that it says Altium tells me that this one was done before the branding change. Um, so likely this is very uh, much more further along uh, than other sites. Hubbard, Ohio. Uh, you can see this one has the GM Energy branding on it. Um, so this one's probably a little bit uh, further away from being completed. And here's uh, Pittston, PA, before it was open, when it was still under construction. I'll have to check when this picture was taken. It wasn't too long ago. In fact, I'll do that right now. But before I do so, I just want to mention um, Owl E-Mobility is doing this site. However, someone else chimed in, a construction company called Kings Brothers is also doing many locations. Uh, more than a dozen locations have been re reported having been done by Kings Brothers. So Pilot Corp is using multiple um, third-party vendors in order to do the builds at their properties, um, two of which we know of are Owl E-Mobility and Kings Brothers Construction. All right, let's take a look. So this picture was taken November 18th, and today is December 22nd. So um, dispensers were in the ground then. We're not quite sure how long this site was under construction prior to. Uh, the typical uh, construction time for these locations is about eight weeks. 
Uh, when they do it really fast, it ends up being about six weeks. So that seems about right. And uh, very likely this site is getting uh, used as we speak, and we're going to get new pictures into PlugShare in the coming days. All right, just very quickly for people who are new to the project, these are EVgo Extend sites. So if you're an EVgo member, your uh, plans and time of use uh, rates do not apply. Uh, however, if you're a GM customer and you've elected two years of free with EVgo, that free plan does apply. Also, we're told that uh, GM owners are going to get discounted charging rates at these sites. They're going to be able to reserve stalls in route and have auto charge plus, uh, but that's not exclusive to GM and it's, it's different from the SA E151118 standard. Um, at some point in the future, it will all coalesce into one standard, but right now there's two different standards, plug and charge and auto charge plus. This is the auto charge plus. Pilot Flying J has a project called New Horizons. They're spending a billion dollars over three years to do um, facility facelifts. And uh, you'll see sometimes if you go to these locations, the actual facility having a refreshment done to the facade and uh, interior um, features and amenities are getting um, constructed. And you'll see like uh, construction plastic up on the interior and on the outside, some uh, fencing up and meshing and things like that. They've rebranded from Altium to GM Energy on the newer sites. And uh, recently plug share um, started locking locations and a few locations were switching to EVgo icons indicating builds in progress. Here again is the map of locations that are currently open. And let me go back to the ones that are under construction and I'll stop in each time zone. Oh, I should also mention that they're also updating the interstate signage as they put in EV chargers in order to make finding these uh, achievable without using artificial intelligence in Dash. <laughs> you could use your eyeballs. Okay, so the under construction. Anything new from the last update is highlighted. Eastern time zone, sorted north to south. Central time zone, sorted north to south, and I'm going to have to scroll through here because it's a little bit longer than will fit on one screen. I should note that these two on I-40 are giving an indication to me that Pilot is putting a priority on that I-40 corridor, uh, looking to complete it for its coast-to-coast -coast run. Uh, the reason being is these are very remote areas of the country. However, both are getting uh, locations early on in the first 25, and both are getting locations with canopies. There's the second half of central time zone, and the one location in the mountain time zone is Anthony, Texas. Thanks for watching.